I'm Brendan T and I'm back with another tutorial here today I have a special request from N Mahalan and Connor Reese they have requested me to make a tutorial on configuring paychecks changing the price of items and configuring starting money alrighty so basically I'm using the XCDB build um, you can use the Arma 2 net build with this it should be the same files okay so you go into your mission file your PBO or just your regular mission folder and you go into core and then you go into configuration now remember i use notepad plus plus if it, if you can't just double click on it right click click edit it with notepad plus plus alrighty so now all you gotta do is scroll down and you'll see right here we got all the paychecks you got your starting bank money right and you got your paycheck amount i suggest you add these but just remember you need to have those two little things right there uh those two forward slashes and basically life underscore ATM cash is the amount of money a player starts out when they when they first join the server not every time they join just the first time they join um, as you can see we got cop and we got civilian so and we also have the paychecks paychecks they occur every five minutes or whatever this number is up here okay so you can change the life underscore paycheck underscore period you can change that to whatever amount of minutes and they'll get this amount this little paycheck amount okay um starting bank money you get the same i just told you on that um you got the cops like i said civilians and you got medics okay next thing so price of items well if you're talking about the market price items um we got the seller right here so when you sell stuff like you know how you sometimes on some servers you have to do apples to make money and you have to sell them well this is here where you'll change the price of uh, the sell price of the market and as for the buy price you'll change it here okay so now down here you'll see life underscore garage underscore prices now these prices are when you take a vehicle out of, out of your garage and you know it's to be able to use the vehicle or it's just again to take it out of your garage so like if I were to take out an off-road it'd cost me thirty three thousand five hundred dollars which it automatically takes out of your bank account over here we had the life underscore garage underscore sell what that is is that basically means either there's a sell button in your garage so when you select a vehicle you can actually click sell and sell that vehicle out of your garage and this is the money you'll get for selling that type of vehicle alrighty so now what we want to do let's say you want yes let's say you want to change the price of the clothing shop right so if you want if you're talking about the civilian clothing shop you go to this file right here fn underscore clothing underscore bruce open that bad boy up and you'll see all this alright so basically all the blue numbers here those are all your prices for every single item. Um, if you're wondering what nil is, nil you can change and you can actually name the item. To name the item, as you can see here, we have it like Nico Sage Body. That's the class name of the clothing. And then you have it here. This is like the name that'll show up in game. So it'll, it'll say casual wears, it'll show a little picture and it'll say it's $5,000. Okay. Um, some of them will just show the default class name. It's not going to look like that, but if you ever played on Ultis Live Server, you can tell if it's the default one. Um, it also explains it up here. So you see class name, custom display name, you know, um, which is like nil. Uh, so here you have the shop title name. Just thought something I should show you. Uh, you have the cop shop, you have the diving shop, you have the cart shop, the rebel shop. Um, I may make it if you guys request it, I can make a tutorial on how to make your own clothing shop or NPCs and stuff like that. Um, so for, let's say you want to change the price of vehicles, go to the vehicle list config right there, open that bad boy up, you see all this money. Okay, just change the blue. Now note, that is not the buy price, okay? There's two prices, there's the rental price and a buy price, okay? What you're setting here is the rental price, and then one third is going to be the buy price. So whatever you set here is going to be the rental, like I said and again times that by 0.33 or whatever and that should get you your buy price okay and that's pretty much it i wanted to keep this tutorial really short because i didn't think i needed to go into much detail but you can really see rebel car you know rebel car shop and stuff like that you can pretty much assume when you just see the case that it says the shop name and stuff like that do not change this unless you change the npc which i cannot show you guys but if, if you really request me to do it, I will. If you want to make more vehicle shops and stuff like that again. Um, but anyways, that's basically it. And if, again, if you have any other questions, any other suggestions, stuff like that, just post in the comments below. Check it out. And see you guys next time.